you eating? Mandarin, yum. Some of the things in my garden are starting to do really well, like the silver bait and lettuce and my tomatoes. I'm getting little buds on my lavender. <laughs> Look at what they've done to the lamb. <laughs> I'm just doing some folding. And they're having a good time. We've had a really sick household this week, so it's been really slow and not doing much. <laughs> so it's good to see them playing again. <laughs> Today I'm going to be making a meatloaf and don't judge, I have never had one before, I've always thought they look gross but I was looking for something to make for dinner and I watched a video on someone that made one and it looked amazing. It actually made me hungry. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna give it a go. It kind of reminds me of like rissoles, if you've ever made rissoles or like, like burgers. And except you don't have to fry it. It's just, you put it in the oven in one big like loaf. And in the end, it was absolutely delicious. I served it out to everyone and they were really skeptical at first, like, oh my gosh, mum, what have you made? Um, but once they started eating, they were like, yep, we're having this again. It's actually so good. So I have used two different um, kinds of mints. I have used a turkey mint and um, beef mints. And then I put some capsicum, onion and garlic, and then two eggs. It's definitely been a really slow week, like I was saying. Um, so I haven't really been doing much with the kids being sick and I was trying to think of, you know, what interesting things could I do for a video. And I love cooking. I really love cooking and I love gardening. So I thought, why don't I just show you around my home and like just the, the things that make me happy and then um, I thought, yeah, I could just do one recipe, like what we're doing for dinner. So it is just a, sm a small video. So anyway, I have just added some shallots and this is coriander. And these are just the things that I had in my fridge. So I didn't, you know, plan this recipe ahead of time. I was just trying to make something with what I had already. And yeah, the recipe I saw online was a bit different to this, but it um, worked out absolutely fine see what I mean by it's like making rissoles you do the exact same thing it's like really similar I'd probably add cheese to my rissoles actually I could have added cheese in this I'm kind of glad I didn't so that's just plain flour I think in the recipe I saw you could use different types of flours but and I don't know how much to use I just yeah just added a bit and it worked out fine <laughs> I cook like that all the time. I don't really like following exact recipes and measurements, which is really hard when it comes to baking because, yeah, I like baking, but yeah, if you don't follow the exact recipe, it always ends up wrong somehow. But like with my cooking, I, that's how I invent so many things. Like I'm not rigid. I just like to go by what I have and what I feel like eating and yeah. 
This salt is my absolute favorite salt. I used to eat it years ago and I forgot all about it. I forgot it existed. It's called Herbamere and I just get it from Woolworths, but I recommend getting it. You can add it on anything, like in any cooking or on your eggs or avocado, or just anything, it's so good. And I'm not an expert, but I reckon doing it this way is much healthier than like if you're making rissoles and you're frying it in a frying pan. It's just got to be much healthier putting it in an oven and baking it. So I cooked it for however long it needed. I just kept checking on it. Um, and then I chopped up a bunch of veggies, sweet potato, potato, onion and zucchini and just roasted those as well. So I followed the recipe and added a tomato sauce and sugar mixture over the top. It could have done without it, but it was still really good. Um, it turned out to be a delicious dinner and I really reckon you should try it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.